Veerappan probably is the most intriguing character ever I've, I mean, heard of or I've researched uh, over the years. I was always very interested in the character right from the time I heard about him, maybe more than 15 years back. And over the years, even after his death, and, and his story is like a Mahabharata scaling, spanning over more than 25 years. And it's very difficult to know which segment of it uh, can be captured or will be most interesting to present the spirit of Virapan. And then about a few years back, I happened to meet uh, a person who's involved in the operation of killing Virapan. So it is with him that I, when I started talking to him, and then I met uh, Virapan's wife, and then some informants who were actually mediating between Virapan and the police and uh, various people who had kidnapped over the years. I've always tried to do something different and I, uh, this time, it's Virapan. The biggest reason was that I saw the film in Canada and I liked it a lot. And I thought that Virapan was there, I mean, existed, he was always in the surkhyo, he was always in the world, 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 he was always in the world. So I thought that there was an interest in the story. And the big thing was that, you know, all the people make films on the heroes. I mean, you will see the biopic. So I thought I should do something different. That's why no one makes a biopic on the villain. All the people know that Virappan was a smuggler, he was a guy who 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 was a guy. You know, many people killed him. It was basic information. But when I was involved in this project, when I was sitting with Ramu Ji and understood that it was not a sandalwood smuggler. Or it was not a sandalwood smuggler. But the journey of his childhood, until it existed, there was a lot of things about it. I mean, I didn't enjoy it in small things. The name of his name was more than the name of his name. I think in today's times, content is king, and uh, this is one of the films that I thought could be uh, in that category. So when Sachin actually called me and said he's making a film like this, uh, I was really excited, and uh, I definitely wanted to get associated with the film. So that's how it snowballed, and I think, and I hope, like uh, the lady out there said, that uh, this is Ramu's comeback film. Yeah. So fingers crossed. To be very honest, Virappan, like Sachin said, we all knew a big deal from the childhood. But I never knew about Muthu Lakshmi, his wife. First time when Ramu sir told me about her, about her journey with Virappan, from his marriage to Virappan's death, so I came to know through this film, through this script. Then I read on Google, I searched on Google, I saw his photos, it's, it's, it's a very nice journey of Muthu Lakshmi. Without giving away too much, I'm playing um, a real-life woman who is recruited by the, uh, by the police to help catch Virapan. So when I got the call, um, I've always been a huge fan of Ramu's, and it was a great opportunity. I know the story of Virapan. Uh, I mean, it was fantastic, and also the narration that uh, Ramu gave me about Virapan's life, again, to understand deeper. And then most importantly, also this role. He put the faith in me, so I was very, uh, I was very touched.